In fact, yesterday I just finally went, oh God, I need something. And just as a mild thing to eat, graham crackers. <sighs> All right, you primitive planets. We're prepared to kick butt and take names. Well, howdy, 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 and here's the senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this, a brand new day, hokey smokes. A brand new day where I'm still getting used to my brain functioning the way it used to, not being on Ritalin anymore. <sighs> my blood pressure is almost completely back down to normal, and my pulse is, it has dropped down into the normal range, normal range for me, uh, and so, yeah, I'm working on getting my diet better, still, and that's a permanent thing that's going to be forever and ever, so that hopefully I can do something with meds in the future. I'm not absolutely freaked out and worried about this. I mean, I am in that I'm having to react and deal with it, but also, while I am depressed about the whole situation, it's just everything is transition. It's not the end of the world. Things are going to happen, maybe positively, maybe negatively, but it's all a part of accepting inevitabilities. <laughs> you adapt and go on. And hey, front-loading of YouTube videos, thank you, algorithms. If you could toss me a like, that would be very cool. If you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very awesome. If you could leave me a comment, that would be very, very cool. I read every one. I thumbs up each one I do, which is all of them. And then I answer as many as my executive dysfunction will allow. So thumbs up for that. And of course, I really want to thank each and every one of my Patreon patrons. I am so sorry that my executive dysfunction has so far kept me from updating this list. I really want to. All of these people are beautiful and awesome. Oy vey. But I got a lot of stuff I got to do today. I got to do a lot of running around in town. I got to make some phone calls. And I'm less able to do that than I was before. So thank you each and every one of you for helping to make my life just a little bit easier as I'm struggling right now. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Front loading a video over. So, yeah, I'm still not unable to think as much and as clearly as I would like. Yesterday I said that the time of free-flowing creativity is over. And while that's largely true, it's not creativity is not over. It's just back to my, oh, itchy nose, back to my pre-medication days, which is instead of everything being able to free-float all the time, it's just periods when I can do that. Uh, life is life, though. I can't, like, do any great amounts of creative thinking during the daytime here. And in fact, I've always managed to do the bulk of my actual thinking on creative stuff while I was out on walkies. And I'm not able to concentrate as much anymore as I have been while on walkies. So, great amounts of huge free-flowing creativity over until I can get something figured out med-wise. But I can still be creative, and I'm still working on things, and that's good. It's just slower. It's just harder. I mean, right now, I can't write my project that I want to do because that's kind of out of my range, unmedicated. But I can't, well, I mean, I can, but I'm not going to just stop working on the project entirely. So, yay, just doing what I can, though, up here. Thumbs up. And of course, monetary situation, food situation, oh my god. Now that I've got, a, I've determined that I have my gluten intolerance, now that I've determined I really need to make my diet better because for the past couple years I've been eating like, hey, there's no consequences to my actions, and oh boy, are there consequences for your actions. I was walking through the store the other day with a very small amount of money that I have, feeling so claustrophobic. There's so little I can actually buy and eat. I can't eat things like fresh vegetables because I can't chew. And even before these broke, I would try to eat a mouthful of salad and I would chew for five minutes and I did not have the chewing space to even get through that mouthful of salad in five minutes. So stuff like a lot of fresh vegetables before were right out because I just couldn't chew them. Now there's even less that I can chew because I don't want these to break and then I won't even be able to use them to talk. So that's a lot of food that I can't eat. And then there is gluten in so much stuff. 
In fact, yesterday I just finally went, oh God, I need something. And just as a mild thing to eat. Graham crackers. <sighs> so, yeah. But it just felt so claustrophobic. I was desperately searching for something that I could eat. And there was nothing anywhere. Ah, oh, it was terrible. But, you know, you gotta live with what you gotta live with. And of course, even though the Kofefe bug is still killing upwards of 2,000 Americans daily, even though we have some states in the United States where the healthcare systems are still thoroughly overwhelmed, they've dropped all the mass stuff in Washington State. Yeah, there's a lot of people like me that still won't go into a place like Safeway or such unless I got a mask on, but most people have dropped them. <clears throat> Which, of course, is wonderful since the new variant they have locked down an entire city in China because of. Which, of course, is going to help so much with supply chain issues because the city that has gone into lockdown for at least a week is one of the main manufacturers of, like, chips and such for tech. So that's going to throw another handful of sand into the supply chain. Yay. Still, though, still, though, life is life. <clears throat> so, yeah, though, I've got a lot of stuff that i got to try and do. And since I'm not on meds, I'm less able to do the things that I need to do than I have been. But I desperately need to do them, so here's hoping I can. Because <laughs> uh, yesterday I didn't get much done. I watched some videos. I played some games. I tried to do some things, but my executive dysfunction has been worse than ever. It's going to be fun talking to my therapist on Thursday. I need to call my med manager and let them know that I am not on this stuff anymore. For the time being, at least for the short term, so that we can start working on another med that maybe won't do this. So, thumbs up. Like I say, there's hope. I'm just, it's an evolving situation because I'm still getting used to the way I used to think from the way I have been. And it's, and it's going to take a couple more days before things really settle down. <clears throat> and each time there's a change that throws everything into disarray again as I have to get used to all this again. So, I'm depressed about the situation. I also know that depression lies. It's not the end of the world. I'm not going to die. <laughs> there is always hope. So, yay. Still, though, taking a look on the list over here, and I don't really have anything to write down. I mean, the, the fact is, I haven't been doing much. I mean, I have been reading, of course, a lot on this, because this is something that I have not yet been able to play because of my whole situations. Situations, yeah, plural. My entire... However it is when you have multiple situations. Plus, I haven't been able to get any character sheets, so I want to do that. And, and there's a lot of info. Writing a character sheet for this game is not the same as just, you know, writing a bunch of notes down on an index card for a standard tabletop. You gotta mark things, you have to keep track of the keys you have, disease, time, food, and it's all on here because this is your game master. There's not a person taking care of it. It's, it's the, all the rule set. There are some rules in there that I thought were really elegant and really clever, though they're really basic, and though I do want to talk about that for a time, because I think they're really clever. One of them is your armor. If you have your armor, your armor protects you for a certain amount. And that's how it works. You know, you can bounce your armor, take damage taken in off to armor being worn, and that's good. But our armor also has another stat which is a defense stat. And when the monster rolls to attack you, when it rolls its damage, if the damage that it rolls is under your defense number, you get to subtract that defense number from the damage coming in. So there's another little mechanic in there to, to give you a hand. And I thought that was pretty cool. It's just a nice little elegant check. It's only one, two, five. If the monster rolls a six for damage, you don't get any defense no matter what. Your defense only goes up to five, even if it's higher than that. 
then there is two other little bits of mechanisms that I also think are really clever. One is doors are locked. It, it, they don't always are, but you can find locked doors. And you can also find keys. Now, how do you check to see if the, the key opens up the particular door that you have? Well, you just take the number of keys that you have and roll a 10-sided die. And if you roll under the number of keys, that particular key is the one that works. It sounds goofy. You're like, well, how does that make sense? Well, it's a random door that you found, and you've got a random key. If you've got one random key and one random door, what are the odds that the key is going to fit that door? Uh, it's only a 10% chance if you only got one key. But if you got three keys and one door, well, what are the odds that one of those keys is for it? The, uh, they've jumped up quite a bit, haven't they? You got three keys, that's a 30% chance that one of those is going to open up the door. I thought that was pretty clever. Very, very nice. There's also a lever check because there are levers that you can pull all the way through dungeons and such as well. And some doors only open through levers. And so as you're going through, you pull levers. And when you come across some types of doors, you check for a, le a lever check to see if any of the levers you pulled opened up that door. That's kind of cool. A lot of really neat mechanisms in there. The, uh, the rule parts I've actually finished reading. There aren't a lot of rules. The bulk of the book is up on tables because the book is the game master. So you've got to roll everything through the charts and such. It's pretty cool and I really want to play. But I also want to talk about, I'm doing my best, I'm watching a lot of videos on it too. A little bit of stuff looking down on my list of things that I had thought about but never gotten a chance to talk about before. I talk about on the razor's edge how there's layers and how you can be attuned to it and how there's the apple rock layer that runs from where we are, the outside. You just walk straight in and you're onto the apple rock layer which is attuned to the outside. People came through most often through there. Repetition drives things in and so our one layer came to that eventual just one layer on their side, on the razor's edge. And so that is the one that is attuned to going straight through. But there are a near infinite number of layers in the razor's edge. And just because this is the one we use, we, doesn't mean that that's the only one or the only one that is even metropolitan or has a lot of population in it. Because there are layers that are very populated. They just happen to be other layers that we never walked through while coming into this particular razor's edge. <clears throat> you can literally find layers where they are mega cities. And they can be either grim dark or not, depending on just how you want to do these things, of course, because infinite variety on near infinite layers yeah you can easily find a layer that has a city of tens of billions with another half of that living and supporting the city outside of its borders and walls and these are fully valid layers filled with fully valid people they're just far away from the razor's edge they're still in the razor's edge, razor's edge, the, you know, the Apple Rock razor's edge, but they're not on the same layer as Apple Rock, which is where the pathway runs from outside to inside. And of course, as stated, they can be just absolute wondrous places or horrific, you know, Warhammer 40k level grimdark stuff. But they're there. The playlists are there. And that's cool. Definitely a thumbs up on that. Now, there is more I do want to talk about this. I came up with a bad guy. I don't have enough time to go really into it, but I was coming up with a bad guy the other day. And it's a really, really weird sort of bad guy. And then they're reassuring people. And I'm going to talk more about this on another day. Just giving a brief touch on that. Reassuring everybody. Everybody is in they are introducing themselves to people of power. 
and they are extremely extravagant, very flamboyant, and they just are reassuring everyone, don't worry, I know most individuals when saying hello to other beings of power will do something like senseless and brutal slaughter of the innocent in their millions just to say hello, but I want to do assure you, I'm not doing that. Even though I have contributed to the problem in the past, grand slaughter and brutal and senseless murder of the innocent is just so over. It's done. It's passe. So don't worry. On the large part, most atrocities shall not be committed from my part. Just a quick touch of the, what that individual is like. And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. I'm going to go through and thank however many people have left me comments in the past 24 hours. Thumbs up and thank you, each and every one of you. You get me out of my head and into the world and dealing with real people for a very short period of time. Thumbs up. Greatly appreciated. If I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. And even though I'm American Sign Language, well, with the fact that I'm not even on ADHD meds anymore, I'm a thousand and one ping pong balls in a wind tunnel. <clears throat> And my voice is all caught up with, with mucus and slime. Jules R, thumbs up and thank you. No ball, thumbs up and thank you. And I play videos that way too. I listen to videos while I play games. Joshua Cruz, thumbs up and thank you. Sebastian Creek, greatly appreciated. Ben B, it is a very good thing. Hokey Smokes. Flora Mew, Hokey Smokes. There's a lot of stuff in there that I do want to talk about. I, yeah, I'll get there. I promise, because you make good points, and I like that. Jesse Koskinen, thumbs up and thank you. Favel, I am good to, I am good to see you. Glad to see you in the comments. Hopefully your life is doing okay. Tommy Copeland, greatly appreciated. Talo Kun, thumbs up and thank you. Devon Schmitty, greatly appreciated. And then there's Confused Owl 29 thumbs up, and good to see you in the comments. And that is it. 12 people have left me comments in the past 24 hours. Greatly appreciate it. As stated, get me out of my head and into the world and dealing with real people. I do appreciate that to no end. Definitely a thumbs up. And of course, if you could, uh, how do I say that? And the, well, it, the, I've got various links with things like my Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon. And again, I do want to thank each and every one of my Patreon patrons. These literally beautiful, literally awesome people deserve better than I can do with putting up my lists. I hate my executive dysfunction. I wish I didn't suffer from it. I want to be able to do things, and it, it hurts that I cannot do them properly. Thank you, each and every one of these Patreon patrons. You are literally beautiful and awesome. If you'd like to help me out without becoming a patron, there's a PayPal link. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money, there's an Amazon wish list link with cat food on it. So if you could check that out, that'd be cool. You know, and if you could toss me a like, that'd be awesome. If you could subscribe to the channel, that'd be very cool. Of course, don't feel obligated or entitled. I don't feel, you wouldn't feel obligated or entitled. I don't feel obligated or entitled. The point being this, uh, yeah. <laughs> The point being, I can't speak English today. Yay. Still, though, thank you each and every one of you for, for watching and such. Even during all this madness, it is appreciated. So, yes, indeed, I've got phone calls I have to make. I have to make. There are places that I have to go, that I have to go. So, uh, hopefully, I'm going to be able to get at least some of it done. That would be good. I don't need my world to continue crashing around me. Yay. Hopefully you can get done the things that you need to get done. That too would be very cool. And as stated, you know, just because people have said, hey, it's over, doesn't mean it's over. The bug out there is still mutating. It is changing. It is getting people. And we are still dying by the thousands. So please take it much more seriously than those who don't. You don't need to check out early. So... Until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And quite frankly, I think that's a very good idea.